Now, everybody knows that nuts are great for you, and that's absolutely true, but a nut is not necessarily a nut. For instance, that wonderful bag of peanuts that you get at the ballpark, peanuts are not a nut at all. They're a bean, a legume. They're a cousin of a soybean. So every time you're eating a peanut, you're eating one of the most lectin-laden foods known to mankind. So a peanut is not a nut. Don't eat them. Same way with cashews. Cashews are not a nut. Believe it or not, they're part of the poison ivy family. And how many of us would really like to chomp down on a handful of poison ivy leaves? But every time you eat cashews, you're getting a dose of poison ivy. And I can't tell you the number of people I see who are cashew eaters or cashew milk or cashew cream with IBS with upset stomachs, we take away their healthy cashews and the issue goes away. There's even a cashew picker disease that cashew pickers get burns on their hands from picking cashews. In South America, where the cashew was native, the natives actually eat the fruit and throw the cashew nut away because it's so lethal. Hmm, something to think about. Well, what am I gonna eat in nuts? Well, so pecans are great for you. Walnuts are really, besides pistachios, walnuts are really a king. Because walnuts have a type of short chain omega-3 fat called alpha-linolenic acid, ALA. And in the new book, I talk about the huge benefits to your health by getting ALA, alpha-linoleic acid, into your body. And one of the easiest ways is to eat walnuts. Another way is to use either flaxseed oil or organic canola oil to get alpha-linoleic acid, ALA, into your diet. But these are a whole lot tastier than slugging down some flaxseed oil or canola oil. Lastly, Everybody thinks that almonds are great for you, but sadly almonds, the peel has a really nasty lectin that a lot of my patients with autoimmune disease, particularly rheumatoid arthritis, react to. If you're going to eat almonds, get the ones that have been peeled. They're called Marcona almonds. And interestingly, in cultures that use almonds as a food, particularly Portugal and Spain, mothers teach their daughters how to soak and peel almonds because they know that the skin is dangerous. They don't know why it's dangerous, but years of tradition have taught them that there's a reason to get rid of the skin in almonds, and we now know it's because of lectins. And these are pretty available. How about beans? Now you hear that the blue zones eat lots of beans and that's the secret to their health. In fact, as you'll see in the book, in all my books, Beans are actually a negative aspect of the Mediterranean diet that's been countered by all the great polyphenols from the vegetables, from the red wine, from the olive oil that they're eating. But if you're going to eat beans, and I do eat beans, you have to detoxify them because they are loaded with lectins. Now, traditional cultures soak beans, often for 48 hours, pour the water out every few hours because that will slowly leach lectins out. And then they cook their beans very long and very slowly, which will also help detoxify lectins. But two companies now have pressure cooked beans. There used to be a law that beans had to be pressure cooked. That law doesn't exist anymore. So two companies, One's called Eden, E-D-E-N. The other is called Jovial. Now pressure cook their beans. So when I eat beans, I buy either of those brands and I use them a lot. How about other alternatives? Everybody knows by now that grains like wheat, rye, and barley have gluten. And gluten is a really nasty lectin. But what about ancient grains like quinoa? Well, the Incas, did grow quinoa, did use quinoa, 
But interestingly enough, Incas knew that quinoa was bad for them. So what did they do? They actually soaked their quinoa for 48 hours. Then they let it rot. They let it ferment and then they cooked it. Why'd they do that? Why take the trouble? Because fermentation destroys the lectins that are present in quinoa. So again, when we look at what ancient people did, they knew how to detoxify a particularly bad grain. We don't know that. So we say, oh, quinoa is healthy for us. Get a pressure cooker if you have to have quinoa and pressure cook your quinoa. That will detoxify the lectins. Or better yet, use a non-lectin containing grain. Both millet and sorghum have no lectins. They actually have no hull. And as you know, I've got lots of recipes on YouTube for how to use them. The darker, the better in terms of your health. So just like the purple sweet potato had polyphenols like uh, anthocyanins, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries have tons of polyphenol. But you gotta beware. 